Are you ready to get your core fired up? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and that's exactly what we're doing in today's class. Go grab your mats, and let's do this. All right, let's get started. Coming onto our hands and knees in tabletop. So pressing down into those palms, lengthen out through the crown of your head. And you're just gonna start to move just this low part of your back. So start to lift that tailbone towards the sky. And then you're gonna exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Exhale, tuck that tailbone underneath. And as you're tucking underneath, you'll start to feel those lower abs, pelvic floor kick on. Inhale, lift that tailbone. Exhale, tuck underneath. You can play around with blowing out, like you're blowing out candles, blowing bubbles. And it's okay if it doesn't move a whole lot. It's just our low back because we don't want our upper body getting into it. Lift that tailbone, a little tuck. Good for three, two, last one. Nice, now we'll sink the hips back and we're gonna do the same exact thing. And you can keep your hands out in front. So lift your tailbone and then a little tuck. Lift that tailbone and a little tuck. Now it's not going to move a whole lot here and that's perfectly okay. You can even walk those hands back in a little bit more. Lift the tailbone and that exhale tucking underneath. See if you can feel that core. Good, for three, two, last one. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Keep pressing down into those palms. Take your right leg, slide your right leg back behind you. Press into the top of that left shin and float your right leg towards the sky. Keep reaching through that back heel. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. You're gonna take your right leg, lift it up and over to the left hand side, tap those toes, and then lift it up and over towards the right. Lift up and over to the left, and then over to the right. <clears throat> Keep floating back and forth. Use that breath. Lengthen out through that back heel. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Keep pressing into those feet. Three, two, last one. Now take your right knee, drive your right knee in towards your chest, hug that leg in, press down into those feet. Inhale, sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, open, come into cactus arms. Think that rib cage staying over your pelvis, gentle tuck of that left hip, and really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice breath in. And then exhale, let it out. Keep your hands in cactus or you can bring your hands behind the back of your head. You're gonna bend to the left and then bend to the right. Bend left and then to the right. Using your exhale, press down into those feet, bending side to side. Good for three. Two, last one. Straighten out over your front thigh. Option, hands can come to your thigh. Hands can come by your side. Squeeze the shoulder blades, getting a little bit more of that core fired up. Keep pulling your right hip back. Oh my goodness, my hamstrings today. Whew. <laughs> Take one more breath in here. And then we'll exhale, take your left hand down to the ground, sweep that right leg, reach your right leg back behind you. Right arm comes up overhead. Maybe the right leg stays down or maybe that right leg lifts towards the sky. Keep reaching through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now careful here that you're not overarching. You wanna make sure that rib cage stays over your pelvis. Lengthen through those fingertips. Take one more nice breath in here. And then we're gonna take that right knee, drop your right knee down towards the ground. Right arm comes underneath, coming in to thread the needle. You can come down onto your shoulder, maybe you lower down onto your head. Nice, gentle breath in here. 
Exhale, slowly let that go. Take another nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press yourself, come back up, come back into that tabletop position. Take your left leg, float your left leg back behind. Keep pressing into the palms, press into the top of that right shin. Left leg floats and you're lengthening from the hip and imagine you're pressing that foot up against the wall. Lift the leg up and over towards the right and then over towards that left. Going really slow and controlled, you're nice and strong in those arms. Keep lengthening out, use your breath. Heading left to right, press into the top of that right shin. Using your breath. How does this side feel compared to your other side? Lengthening out, nice work. Good, for three, two, Last one. You're gonna take that left knee, drive your left knee in towards your chest, step that foot forward. Come all the way up, tuck your right hip underneath, rib cage stays down, arms come out towards the side, cactus arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open through the front of your chest. Nice breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Now your hands can stay here, come behind the back of your head. We're going to bend over towards that left hand side and then to the right. Keep pressing down into those feet. Come to the left and to the right. So you'll feel your core as you bend from side to side. Keep pressing down into those feet. Top of that right shin for three, two, last one. You'll straighten out through that left leg. Hands come to your thigh, either side of your leg, or get the core going a little more, and those arms come by your side. Keep squeezing shoulder blades, reach through your fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take another nice gentle breath in. And exhale, slowly let that go. Right hand comes down, take your left leg, sweep that left leg back, lengthen through that leg, left arm comes overhead. Now that left leg can stay down or you can float it up towards the sky. Reach through those fingertips, really use your breath. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more breath in here. And then we'll take that left knee, drop your left knee down, left arm sweeps underneath your right, coming into that gentle twist. Nice breath in. Ooh, exhale, let it go. And just see if it feels a little different from this side compared to your other side. One more here. And then press into that right hand, pull yourself, come all the way back up. And then option, you can sink it back into child's pose or if you want to lift those hips, come up and back into your down dog. Let your head get nice and heavy in either position. Strong in those arms, lift your tailbone, nice breath in. And exhale, let it go. Good, take one more nice breath in here. Super slow, let it all out. And then however you wanna get there, start to make your way towards the front of your mats. And we'll come into a forward fold. So the head's nice and heavy. You can grab hold of your elbows, maybe your arms hang, and you're just gonna sway from side to side. Keep pressing into those feet. Nice, breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then bring your hands back to your thighs and gently roll everything all the way up. Come all the way up to standing. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Keep lifting up out of that waist. Nice breath in. We'll take your left hand to your left hip. Right arm reaches all the way up overhead. Bend over towards that left hand side. Reach through those fingertips, lengthen out. Maybe your left ear falls to your left shoulder. And then take a nice breath in, pull yourself, come all the way back up. 
Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Take your right leg, scoot that right leg back. You'll lengthen through that front thigh. Start to hinge forward over your front thigh. Left hip back, right hip forward. Really drive through your right heel. Feel those glutes fire up and bring your arms by your side. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. So from here, we're gonna start to take off over that left foot. Press into your left foot. Maybe you do a couple taps with the right. Maybe you sweep right into bringing right foot toe tap, right knee towards your chest. Hands come in towards heart center. You can definitely hold on to something else as well. We're gonna exhale, twist to face the right hand side. Feel that core kick on. Inhale, bring it back to center. Press into that left foot, spread your toes, twist to face the right hand side. Press the palms together on that exhale and turning. Inhale back to center. As slow as you can, step it back into that lunge. We're staying hinged forward over the front thigh, arms come by your side. It could just be me, but hopefully you're starting to feel that left hip really fire up. Our glutes are really important to our core as well. Reach through those fingertips, lengthen out, nice breath in. Here we go again. Take hopping in a couple times or you come straight in to bring that knee towards your chest. Drive into that left foot, exhale, twist to the right, press the palms. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to face that right hand side. Inhale, bring it back to center. Take your right foot, sweep that right foot back. One more time through, leaning forward over that front thigh. Squeeze those shoulder blades, lengthen out, nice breath in. Okay, you know where we're going. Head over that left leg, right knee towards your chest. And we're just careful we're not leaning all the way back. We're keeping that rib cage forward, exhale, twist. Bring it back to center, exhale, twist. Inhale, come all the way back through to center. As slow as you can, we're gonna step it back into your warrior two. Lengthen through your front thigh, drive through that back heel, reach through those fingertips, take the right side of your rib cage, pull that rib cage back, lengthen out, nice breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Slowly start to straighten out through that front thigh. We're heading into triangle. So that left hand comes down, right arm can go towards the sky or your hip. You can keep your gaze wherever it feels comfortable. We're gonna slowly lower down and then inhale, pull yourself, come all the way back up. Bend through your front knee, reverse your warrior. So feeling that core kick on in different positions. Inhale, pull yourself, come up, straighten that front thigh. Exhale, lower down, triangle. And taking your time with the transition. Pull yourself, come back up. Bend through that front knee, reverse your warrior. Inhale, come back up, straighten that front thigh. Lower down, we're active in those legs, so squeeze those thighs. Press into your feet, reverse your warrior. We're gonna go through one more time. Straighten that front thigh, lower down. Inhale, come back up, bend through that front leg. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. We're gonna take our right hand option to your left thigh, right hand to a block or all the way down to the ground. Left arm comes up towards the sky. Nice, breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press that right heel back behind, lengthen through that left leg. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Now option, you can drop your right knee down and step back into a side plank. You can just step straight back into a full side plank, knee down, find what works best for you today. Maybe the leg is lifted, maybe it's down. Good. Take one more breath in here. We'll spin everything back down. Come into your plank pose. Lengthen out through the crown of your head. Slowly lower everything down towards the ground. Pull yourself forward. Open up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice breath in. And then exhale. Lower all the way back down. You're going to bring your forearms straight out in front. Let your head rest down on those forearms. You're gonna lengthen through that right leg. Lift your right leg towards the sky. 
Now you can press through your toes, press through your heel. We're gonna do little pulses lengthening up. You wanna be careful that you're not feeling this in your low back, that you're just feeling it in your glutes. Reach through the leg. You can use the exhale as you're lifting. Good for three, two, last one. Lower that leg back down. Reach through that left leg. Lengthen out through the toes. Lengthen through your heels. Whatever makes you feel it more in those glutes. Same thing. Exhale. Little pulses and lifting. Use your breath. How does one side feel compared to the other side? For three, two, last one. Lower that leg back down. Sweep your hands by your side. Now your head, you can either rest your forehead on the ground or keep the head lifted, but we're lengthening out through that spine. Think of pulling the front of your shoulders away from the ground and maybe you stay here. Maybe you lift the arms up just a little bit, but it doesn't matter how high the arms are going. We're thinking of creating this C curve with our chest. Press down into the tops of your feet. So our core is so much more than just our abs. We're focusing on our glutes in today's class, strengthening our back body. Lengthen out. We're holding here for three, two, last one bring those hands back down by your side sink those hips back either child's pose or down dog yogi's choice take a nice big breath in and let it all go and just take a moment noticing how left side feels compared to right side how it feels going through that the first time okay and when you're ready however you want to get there make your way towards the front of your mat pressing down into those feet maybe you grab your elbows keep the arms straight gently sway from side to side bring those hands back to your thighs roll come all the way back up inhale sweep those arms lift all the way up overhead exhale the hands come down towards heart center Take your right hand to your hip, left arm reaches towards the sky. Lengthen out, nice breath in, and bend over towards that right hand side. Let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take one more nice breath in here. And exhale, let that go. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Bring your hands back down towards heart center, and then you're gonna take that left leg, scoot your left leg back, coming into that lunge position. We square those hips off, drive the feet in towards the ground, and we're hinging forward. Arms come by your side, squeeze the shoulder blades, spread your toes in the front, and as you're exhaling, feeling that core kick up, pubic bone all the way up. Good, we're gonna hold for one more breath here. And as we start to take off over the right leg, that right leg is doing all the work. We're not pushing off with the left. So you can toe tap it in, you can sweep all the way in, keep the left foot down or bring that left knee in towards your chest. Hands come towards heart center. As you exhale, twist to face that left hand side. Press those palms together. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to face the left. Inhale, bring it back to center. Take your left leg, sweep your left leg back, coming into that lunge position. Lengthen through your front thigh. Arms come by your side. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Fire it up here. Nice. One more breath. And then take off over that right leg. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Hands come towards heart center. Exhale, twist to face that left hand side. Press into the left foot, spread your toes. Bring it back through towards center. Exhale, twist to face the left. Back towards center, take your left leg, step it back. Lengthen through that front thigh. Nice, breath in one more time here. Just feeling those legs fire up. Slowly start to take off. Pull that knee in towards your chest. Exhale, twist to face that left hand side. Back towards center. 
Exhale, press those palms and twist. Bring it back towards center. Take that left leg, step it back, coming into your warrior two. So lengthening through that front thigh, pull the left side of your rib cage back, lengthen out, press down into those feet. And just kind of setting up, maybe leaning backwards a little bit, shifting forward a little bit, seeing what feels best. And then we'll straighten out through that front thigh. Right hand comes down, left hand can come to your hip or up, lowering into triangle. But we're stacking the shoulders, squeezing the thighs and pressing those feet down into the ground. And then start to pull yourself, come back up, bend through your front knee, lift that right arm up and back, reverse your warrior. Straighten your front thigh, lower down. And gently gliding back and forth. No end or beginning point. You're just floating from one position to the next. Nice work. We'll go through one more time here. Lowering down. Pull yourself, come back up. Reverse your warrior. Inhale, pull yourself, come all the way up. Take that left hand to your right thigh, to a block or down to the ground. Take your right arm, spin your right arm open towards the sky. That right knee is going forward. Left leg is pressing back, press through the heel. Feel your glutes fire up. On the exhale, see if you can twist just a little bit more. An option, you can drop that left knee back, step back into your side plank, or you can step straight back, coming into your side plank. Press those hips towards the sky. Take one more breath in here. And then we'll spin everything down to face the ground. Cut down your toes, stay on the knees, lower everything down. Inhale, open up, cobra. And then we're going to exhale, lower all the way back down. Arms are going to come down by your side. You're lengthening out through the crown of your head. Reach through those legs, lengthen out. And you're going to lift both legs this time. Think of squeezing the legs together, lengthening out. Inhale, lower those legs down. Take a breath and then squeeze the shoulder blades, lift, lengthen up, reach through those fingertips. Exhale, slowly lower down, reach through those legs, lengthen, lift up. And then drop it down, squeeze, lift the shoulder blades, reach through those fingertips, open through the front of the chest. Lower all the way back down. Now this time, you're gonna reach, lengthen through those legs, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift everything up. Good, we're holding for five, four, three, two, last one. Lower all the way back down, press it back, child's pose or down dog. Two big breaths wherever you're at. Exhale, let it go. Nice, take another big breath in. Exhale, slowly let it go. Inhale, pull yourself, come forward. And then let's make our way come down onto your backs. Just let your head get nice and heavy. So option one, you can keep those legs down. Option two, you can bring your knees in towards your chest, coming into a little bit of core. We're gonna tap one leg down and bring it back up. Tap one leg down and up. Now, if the legs are down, you can march and bring one leg in, coming from side to side. You're using your exhale, like you're blowing out those candles. You're checking the core, making sure you're not seeing it pressing out. That means we need to do some type of adjustment, whether we place the feet on the ground, emphasize your exhale a little bit more, changing your position, using those breaths. 
If you want to add on, you can take those arms straight up towards the sky and extend opposite arm and leg. Keep using your breath. Good for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it back down. Take a big breath in, exhale, let it go. Feet are gonna stay flat on the ground. We're gonna inhale, let the knees fall out towards the side, arch through that low back, thinking of lifting your tailbone, nice breath in. And then we're gonna exhale, bring those legs back up, tuck your tailbone underneath. <sighs> Inhale, arch through that back. Let the knees fall out towards the side. And then tuck, use the breath. Let the knees fall out, inhale, arch. And then exhale, gentle tuck, bring those knees back up. Working on mobility in the hips, our pelvis, our low back, and coordinating that with our core and our pelvic floor using that breath. Good for three, two, last one. Keep those feet flat on the ground. Walk those heels in towards your sit bones. And you're going to exhale, press, lift those hips up. Lengthening through the front of your thighs. Feeling those glutes fire up. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. You can stay here or we can lower quarter of the way down. Exhale, press, lift up. Lower and exhale, lift. Good, for five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way back down. Just bring those knees in towards your chest. Grab hold of the tops of the knees. You can grab behind the backs of those knees. I'm just gently pulling apart, rocking from side to side. Use your breath. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Maybe do little circles. Just opening up that back, inner thighs. Bring those legs back up together. Take the legs over towards the left-hand side. That right arm comes out towards the side straight like a T or it can come into a half cactus. We're going to stay here for three gentle breaths. Breathing in. And then exhale, let it go. Noticing hips, noticing your back, all the way up to your mid back into your neck. Good, one more breath in here. And then bring those legs back up through towards center. Over towards the other side, left arm goes out, turn to take a peek. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Checking head, neck, mid back, low back, your hips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath in here. And pull yourself, come all the way back up. Lengthen out through those legs. Take those arms, reach your arms all the way overhead. Nice big breath in. 
Exhale, get super heavy. Let it all go. Those arms come back by your side. Slide those heels back in. We'll gently come on to your side. Come all the way up. Let's take nice, big cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Thanking your body for your practice. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste. Thank you.